Hi guys. So today I'm going to talk to you about my pollinators. I've got bees and hummingbird moths. Hey guys. I just wanted to show you my pollinators. Um, this is a bush that is growing in my yard. It's in like what I call my high dollar areas because it's in a raised bed. I planted it and I do not remember what it is. But it it attracts so many pollinators I can't I can't move it until I figure out what it is and then take cuttings and transplant it because the bee there are so many bees on this and so many different wasps and I mean some of these things I don't even know what they are and they're all different varieties I really don't want to to move this until I make sure that I have something to feed these guys. This is an excellent reason to have a selfie stick because the last thing I want to do is shove my hand in here with all these bees. Oh, so pretty. Some of the bees look like they have no back end. I'm sure these are all just different varieties. Oh, it smells amazing. This is, I'm just dying to know what this is. Just look at them all. And then there's things that, I mean, I couldn't even tell you what some of these bugs are. Whatever this plant is, it really does amazing attracting pollinators to my garden. So normally I wouldn't plant a bush this big right here in my raised bed area, but it's here and the bees love it so much. At this point, it's not gonna get moved until I can have full size plants. But I would love to transplant this as long as it's not invasive. I would move this all over my yard just to make a bee haven. It's always covered with bees and it has the most heady scent. And it'll have We'll have 10 different kinds of bees on one little section. So, I mean, I would love to move this plant all over my yard. And, you know, if you don't have bees and if you don't have other pollinators, you're not going to have any plants. So I like getting up here and just looking at them. Excuse me. Excuse me. You guys hold still so I can get some good video of you. Some of them have, like, little red tummies with white. I'll just show you this one bug. He'll hold still. Ooh! Almost got me. Tried to fly into me. So this, this thing is a buzz with life at pretty much any time of the day. Once it's light out, this plant is covered. Now, I'm hoping that it's some, I thought it was like maybe a raspberry bush, <laughs> but I don't think it is now. So who knows what this is. Regardless, it's amazing. The bees love it. And look at how it's just taken over this whole area. It has just taken over and it's still putting out flowers. And you know, by the time this one's done blooming, guess what's going to be coming right behind it? My beautiful mango blooms. So just look at this. That is one happy plant. It's got bees. It's got wasps. It's got flies. It's got little ladybugs. Look at this little ladybug. It's covered in ladybugs. I mean, some of the wasps, I mean, that's a beautiful wasp. It's like a black and white stripe. I haven't seen one like that before. Some of these bees are just, their little legs are just so heavy with pollen. Disappear, bee. And then, of course, we have to have a butterfly come in. 
just to show off. <laughs> oh, so lovely. Just makes me happy to even look at it. It's really spectacular. It is just a bug festival. And the sound. They're just all together, hanging out, filling up. I'm sure they stop along at my other plants and can't resist seeing a red blossom. Look at that. Hi, guy. I guess there's so much, there's just so much going on that they, but look at that. I just love to look at that. I got a little too close to that one. Some of them look like yellow jackets. It's hard to tell. I don't know what these are. They're just having a nice day. It's just so full of sounds. Well, if it's not an invasive, I would suggest everybody plant one of these. And now I don't feel like I can cut it back because my bees are depending on it. Bees really like my clover and all the other plants that I've planted in here for the for the chickens. Look at that little fatty. That little bee is absolutely covered with pollen. Oh my gosh, they're just everywhere out here. Oh, so pretty. I love that I love that the bees are enjoying this as much as my chickens love it. But oh, there's some Well, I did see some bees. It looked like bees on that one. Flying around. The selfie stick has multiple uses. I love that. Oh, these little mamas, they just work so hard. And she knows that she's entitled. She can eat anything she wants in my yard. Right, mamas? These girls are my pets. So I have a lot of flowering plants and I'm, I'm really doing that to feed the bees. I want my bees happy. I want them to eat as much as they want because they're the reason you have any productivity in your yard. So some of this stuff, I'm not even sure what they are. There are bugs all over, but the bees are certainly flying around and buzzing. And then look at these. These are my bumblebees. Hi guys. Oh. I love listening to them. Hello, little babies. So pretty. The bumblebees are just everywhere. Look at that pretty little bumblebee. These 
these will grow super nice and they're beautiful covered in butterflies often there's right now i've got bees all over them too Hey there, Mama. Hey there, bees. These bees are happy. Hey there, Mama. My little Mama has to lay an egg. And look at how the bees love the basil. That is a gigantic bumblebee. That is a beauty. Now the other thing I love to look at in the evening are the hummingbird moths. This is just beautiful. Got to see a hummingbird moth. It was very pretty. There's a couple of them, and the little ladies like to try to eat them. Can you hear them? Flying right around my head. Mm -hmm. The chickens are trying to get them. Chickens are always jumping up trying to eat them. And sometimes they actually do catch them if they're, if they're holding still long enough. Beautiful. Little mama. Oh, I think, I think she did. She caught one. <gasps> That's terrible. Oh my god, my chicken just ate a hummingbird. <laughs> She's still running with it. She's got it. It's too big to eat. Mama, did you get that hummingbird moth? Hello. I don't know how a chicken could catch that, but she did. Wow, the bees are even out at this hour. Look at that bee. Oh, there's some moths. Oh, they buzz so fast. There it is. Oh, he is so pretty. You need to plant items that all year long your bees and your other pollinators will have a food source. And I mean, and don't just think of the bees. Think of the flies even. My flies seem like they're what's uh, pollinating my mangoes. We have so many flies on the mangoes and they're, they don't look like the normal standard house fly. They are just totally different. It looks like they just fly around finding mango blooms. So they're super happy with the mangoes. Well, thanks so much for coming along on this journey with me. 